Good morning! We are in the car. Look at that cute little kid. You are so cute. Mm -hmm. We are in the car. It is uh, Thursday. We're going to get our Walmart pickup order as our usual weekly tradition and then run to Starbucks and get a little treat for the kids. We also have to run to Home Depot and do a pickup order there too. My husband tried to go last night and waited for 25 minutes and they were so busy no one could bring the order out. So we're going to try here in the morning and maybe it won't be as busy. So Walmart, Starbucks, and maybe a Home Depot pickup order too. So off we go. Come with us. What do you want? A little snack? Uh-huh. Did you bring one? No, because we're going to go to Starbucks. What are you reading there? Firefighters, Planet, and Jack and Bush. Okay, that looks good. What about you, Vivi? What are you up to? A play books on the car seat. You're reading books on the car seat too? And drawing. Can we see you? <laughs> Are you trying to see us in the mirror? We're trying to see you in the mirror. It's hard. We need to switch you around sometime. You need some books? Okay, mommy will get some. We're just waiting for our groceries. They're a little bit more busy. I think they've opened up more time slots. So it looks actually very busy as it's comparatively it's been pretty quiet but today almost all the spots are full so welcome back to business as usual at Walmart so give me a minute and we'll check in Sawyer's trying to decide if he's gonna get a chocolate croissant or what I want a confetti cookie you want a confetti cookie with sprinkles uh-huh mmm what about you Vivi And be sad. You're gonna not crumble your cookie and be sad. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh, I eat it. You're gonna eat it all? Okay, well, let's see. I'm gonna eat it all too. You too? You're hungry for cookies? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're at our favorite drive through Starbucks. And it's our turn to order. Okay, we'll do two confetti cookies, please. Okay, confetti cookies times two. And Anything else? Yes, could I get a nitro cold brew, a tall with um, the sweet cream cold foam? You got it. And that's everything. That's everything, girl. <laughs> and now, okay. okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. There are a lot of cars. We have to wait our turn in line, but they had your cookies. Are you excited? They had your confetti cookies today. Yum, yum, yum. They did have a sign that I hadn't seen before that they were asking us to put on our face coverings before we get to the window. So I hadn't seen that sign before. It certainly wasn't there last week. So I'm gonna put my mask on and get ready for um, the, the drive through window. But. We will show you the grocery haul when we get home. And we're on hold to get our curbside pickup order delivered. And this little guy is enjoying his cookie. And so is Vivi. So we're just going to wait for them to pick up. And hopefully they'll be able to bring us our order. Yeah, eating your cookie. It's yummy, yummy. So this is the real frustration. We've been in the Home Depot parking lot for 15 minutes, 20 minutes actually now, um, and we were on hold oh. and they kept bouncing us around. The operator kept bouncing us around and the phone would just ring and ring and ring and ring and ring. So the other three cars that were here with me have left. Nobody else had the patience. I barely have the patience because these are my kids that are absolutely melting down, but we just got a hold of somebody. Yay, we got our stuff. Let's go home. Let's go home. We are back. We have unloaded. I have unloaded the car. I'm drinking my cold brew, cold foam, and getting lunch ready for the kids. They are out driving the car. They love to pretend to drive the car in the garage. So that's what they're doing. They already had half of their confetti cookie in the car while we waited at Home Depot. 
but they're gonna have the rest of their giant beautiful confetti cookie from Starbucks for lunch with some ham cheese and crackers and then I'm gonna unload these groceries and I will show you our haul so that's just a little update for you and I'm gonna get these kids situated eating lunch and then I'll check back so pardon my dirty house <laughs> this is our Walmart haul I'll quickly show you what we got we got three cans of corn three cans of green beans cupcake liners we were out of those a can of my favorite brand of the sparkling water bubbly this is the orange flavor 60 eggs yes 60 we go through usually about five eggs a day so this will last us a couple weeks package of sliced Colby cheese for sandwiches and crackers angel food cake and a big thing of Whip chopping, this is gonna be a Mother's Day dessert. We like to do a strawberry shortcake, a modified one from Paula Deen. Mmm, it's delicious. Uh, two loaves of the uh, bread we like, bananas, a big box of Cheez-Its, a water bottle, spray bottle. My husband wanted this, a project, some project for the kids. Our whole milk uh, kids yogurt. This whole milk one is what I need, my little guy, um, doesn't get a lot of dairy he's not a milk drinker so I have to use whole milk um, to kind of fatten that kid up and give him calcium whip whipped cream whipping cream heavy cream for coffee whole milk for the one year two year old Vivian her her daily milk and then this is the first time we've been able to get boneless skinless chicken thighs so that was our little haul and I'm gonna sanitize what I need to sanitize and put it away the kids are here eating their lunch. Num, 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 num. Num, 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 num. Uh, Sawyer is stuffing his mouth. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> they were my helpers with all my errands today and it was a long morning. Everything took a little longer than we thought, didn't it? Crackers. Yum, yum, yum. All right, I'm making dinner. I wish you guys could smell it because I am frying up a pound of bacon and it smells amazing. <laughs> but I am trying a new recipe. I can't believe I am 36 years old and I have never had um, spaghetti carbonara before. So I am trying that tonight. So we've got pasta um, cooking here and I've got the egg Parmesan cheese mixture ready to go here and I'm gonna give my <laughs> give myself a treat and we're gonna try this brand new recipe tonight so gotta cook the bacon until it's brown and crispy and then uh, you know reserve some of the fat take some of the grease out and then you kind of just like toss it all together and the sauce is this creamy egg cheese mixture with crunchy bacon and garlic and parsley so it sounds amazing i certainly have meant to try it it's heard of it before i just somehow have never tried to make it so we're gonna give that a shot tonight i will let you know how it is so there's the finished product it uh <laughs> my husband says it's pretty good one of the kids is eating it this is what it looks like i was afraid the tricky part is not to get the eggs not to curdle so I was really worried about that part, but they didn't curdle and made this kind of like silky, uh, soft cheese sauce. So we are gonna give it a shot. There is my plate. I just need some fresh Parmesan. Good morning, it is Friday. Happy Friday. The kids and I are getting ready to go for a walk. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We've done our school lesson and a few of our chores and just kind of messed around all morning but now we're going for a walk and they asked to ride instead of the stroller the wagon can you guys say hi hi hi, hi. we're going on a wagon walk hey. it's pretty nice a little cooler but we don't need coats so not that cold right and we're gonna go on an adventure in the wagon Good adventure. an adventure okay say so we'll see you in a bit we are back from our walk. It did not take too long because the kids were in the wagon and they wanted to get out and play in the dirt, so we had to go home. But I want to show you my azaleas are looking good. It's going to get very cold, potentially a frost warning this weekend. 
so I'm very sad because these are just about to be beautiful all these buds are gonna open but if it frosts that will be the end of the azaleas this year which is a shame they're one of the last things to bloom they get a little too much shade over here on this side of our house but the dahlias are looking pretty good the Gerber daisy's looking okay it may not love that spot and then over here my flocks are starting to finally die the purple ones that is these white ones smell so good and then my favorite thing I've been excited for this year is my big lilac bush man I've been ready for it so again I hope it doesn't the frost doesn't kill it because they're just now starting to open and they look like it's gonna be a beautiful spring and summer for these guys oh man I wish you could smell them they smell so good so we'll see <laughs> usually it's Mother's Day we don't get frost but here we are and then this guy's the hydrangea it's coming back now and more flux. So these spreaders, these purple ones are starting to be past their peak, but these white ones still look really good. So yeah, that's our yard. Just a yard update. I'm sure you guys were dying to know <laughs> how our yard was looking. The kids are out back playing in the mud, so I will go show you them. So they're under here, under the little porch, playing in dirt, and that's okay. Dirt kind of dusts off, it can wash off, it doesn't stain their clothes. Okay, continuing on with our Friday. I am alone in the car, no kids. Headed to Costco. Uh, we do a Costco run about every two weeks now. Um, since it is May, gosh, what's today's date? May 8th. Uh, I think on May 5th, Costco began requiring um, all their members and their staff to wear a face mask when shopping. So that will be a new experience for me today, wearing my face mask um, at the Costco, our local Costco. Uh, it's about a 30 minute drive for us out there, that's the closest one, and I need to get gas. I also need to stop at the liquor store and get some tequila for margaritas and things. Um, so I'm gonna take you with me. I'm probably not gonna take you into the store just because people are a little bit more on edge than usual and may or may not want to be even accidentally photographed or a video of them. Plus, it's just, I'm bringing in like the, the bare minimum. So I don't bring in my purse, I don't bring in um, my whole wallet, I just bring in my credit card and my Costco card and kind of try to avoid bringing any extra stuff in that might get touched and then need to be washed or need to be cleaned. So. It's gonna be like a recon mission, in and out. But I'm excited for the drive. It's rainy, it's a rainy day, but it's beautiful. Uh, kind of a spring day, and the, the drive, like I said, is 30 minutes out on um, kind of little state highways. So it's a pretty drive um, to be silent and <laughs> with my thoughts and music, and um, I will do as quick of trips into this, these stores as I can, and then get back home, and our weekend will begin. Diego had, um, early release today he had credit time so he took a, quite an early day it's just now a little after 10 30 he and the kids are inside baking bread tonight I have to run some food to our friends that had the baby I'm there's I'm bringing them a second meal uh, on the meal train so we've got some things going on and I thought I would take you with me and show you what I could so let's go okay we are here um, at Costco I just got gas man a dollar 45 a gallon that's how you know the economy's in a free fall. Um, I got 15 gallons of gas for just over 20 bucks. But now I'm here, it's raining, there's a little bit of a line to get in the building, so I gotta tie my hair back, tie on my face mask, and gotta do this thing. So, yeah, chin up, <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, that was that. Uh, yeah, it was different, a little sad, a little scary, but everybody was polite, uh, they had um, they had toilet paper and they had like bulk Lysol. They didn't have wipes. They were limiting meat products to three things essentially. Pork, chicken, and beef. You could have three of any of those items. Um, so I got three <laughs> and a fish. Fish was bonus. Um, but yeah, pretty 
picked over, especially in the you know the meat department. But we got our um, we got our stuff that we needed. We got um, our proteins and we got our vegetables and fruits and um, cheese and you know some items that we needed wipes for the kids and a jumbo thing of toilet paper since I haven't seen it in a long time and we're down to just like a pack or two at home so anyway we're fine we are good I guess this is the new normal and I'm trying to be okay with it and not to be too sad about it but it is a little sad Everyone's stressed and anxious and scared, and um, I feel sometimes like I'm a pretty empathetic person, so sometimes I feel like I feel all the feelings for people and I get stressed for them, but this is, this is life now. We're happy, we're healthy, we're doing our best to keep each other safe, and honestly, like, it makes me really proud of, of uh, our society, yeah. So kudos. No one was complaining about having to wear a mask. Everyone was there doing their shopping, trying to be respectful and trying to keep their distance, but also trying to like make eye contact and nod and, you know, smile behind this thing. So good for us. We're doing it and I'm proud of us. So yeah, I'm next stop is the liquor store and then to buzz home to my family and just hunker down. So we'll talk soon. Our Disney order shipped in three different boxes. And I for I told you I would show you. So I wanted to check in and show you what we got in this box. It was all six of Vivi's little nightgowns. She had completely outgrown her, kind of her winter spring jammies. Um, they were in 2T and she is a, she's a big two. So we ended up having to get some, some little nightgowns, which is what she prefers now that she's potty trained. It's easier to uh, help her on the potty when she's wearing a little nightgown as opposed to well, certainly as opposed to like a zip up or a snap, but um, as opposed to a pant. So she got this little jasmine one with kind of the jersey uh, sleeve. This one from Bambi, which is really sweet, a soft pink with a little ruffle detail of the shoulder. This one's one of my favorite, this original Mouseketeer. And then it's got big polka dots on the back. A uh, Cinderella one, which is really sweet with a little collar and little cap sleeves and then the little material with Gus Gus and Cinderella a little mermaid one and this one's cute a little Toy Story 4 one with the girls it says we've got it handled to be quite honest my husband and I don't generally like um, we don't generally like um, kind of like cartoon type clothes for our kids we prefer more classic stuff but these little nightgowns she's just gonna love and he got them all in the Disney store I think maybe around seven dollars a piece because he got them on sale so they're gonna work all through the summer hopefully and into the fall before it gets too cold so these are her jammies for the summer thank you Disney store we love them hello we are back I'm up in Vivian's room, just woke her up from a nap. The boys are downstairs. My husband decided to make some bread with the kids, so he and Sawyer are working on their, their braided loaves. Um, got all the groceries packed away. I had a quick late, late lunch um, because I didn't eat while I was out and about. So, snarfed some food down, put away all our groceries. Um, and yeah, now we're cozied up for the weekend. It's Mother's Day weekend, so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. My little love. <laughs> just one little one woke, just woke up and she's tired, huh, baby? Do you want to come stay with mommy? Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. My husband, I think, is going to make, we snagged the last piece of salmon from Costco to head today. So I think he's going to make salmon and he makes really, really good risotto. So I think that's on the plan for Mother's Day. Um, we're gonna do like a strawberry shortcake. I, I might have mentioned the Paula Deen strawberry shortcake kind of trifle layered dessert. What else? It's supposed to be really cold, like a frost warning, frost watch. So I might be one of those crazy people that you see trying to put a bed sheet over their flowers. I just always feel so bad for my poor little azaleas. But that's our exciting plans for the weekend. I don't have a lot more to really vlog about, I guess. Um, 
I'm taking my friend, like I mentioned, I'm taking my friend some dinner here in a couple hours on a Friday night. We're gonna make baked chicken thighs with rice and I had saved some cookie dough from last weekend to bake them some fresh cookies. My husband made an extra loaf of bread to send with them. So, yeah, that's what we're up to. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, you know, this will be going Good job with your ABCs. This will be going up after Mother's Day, of course. But once again, happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Um, yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers and um, yeah, you're my hero. So we will talk soon. Thanks for coming along with me this week. It was fun to spend some time together. I appreciate, oh, yeah. I appreciate you spending any amount of time watching my videos. Um, certainly enjoy um, creating the videos and chatting with you. And um, yeah, it's good for me. It's been therapeutic for me to kind of treat it like a little bit like a you know a, a verbal diary of sorts. <laughs> so I'm still getting started with my YouTube channel, hoping to put uh, new content out at least twice a week. Uh, at first while I am, you know, hot off the presses with my new channel. So if you could like and subscribe, that really means a lot to me. I appreciate it so much and we will talk very soon. Bye-bye.